Okay, uh, now we go into the low voltage system. So the first one, the LBL. The LBL is the, is the most popular system for la large com commercial units. So it's because you can have up to 64 of them in parallel. So you starting from a 15.4 kilowatt hours up to a 64 kilowatt hours. And one of the big features is that you can put one on top of each other. That means that in the size of more or less a washing machine, you could have 30 kilowatt hours of capacity, which is very, very compact, especially when you do in large uh, commercial systems, because uh, in, in less space than a 40 foot container, you could have up to uh, a megawatt hour of capacity. These uh, these modules are all are 48 volt or 51 volt uh, batteries, uh, and with the and the current increase as you add more systems in parallel. Same as with the um, a high voltage, you need to check the compatibility list or the configuration list to see which inverters are compatible. However, in this case, it tends to be more critical, especially when you are designing off grid systems. So I mentioned the very beginning. Uh, inverters normally have a surge value. So the amount of power that we, in a very small period of time, a few seconds, they would be able to supply. More tends to be about double of their nominal power. So we need to take this into consideration when you're designing the, the, your system, because when you're starting up, the, it might, uh, in, the batteries might not be enough to power up the inverters. They might not be enough to deal with the, with the pre-charge. So make sure that you're following the minimum configuration list. Uh, so take a look quite de in detail to this pro this product because you'll have uh, if you start having issues such as uh, short circuit alarms or batteries shutting down at uh, sometimes when they go into backup or when they are working off grid, it tends to be related to having too few batteries for the size of the inverters. And the LBL includes this uh, assisted with LBL includes this uh, this uh, components. So the left hand side. All this comes inside the one LBL box. So you don't need to buy this one separately. We just provide you this information because when we are discussing later on, if you have a, a service issue and we say, well, uh, measure uh, the voltages in the BIC, then you know that they are here. Or say, okay, can you uh, uh, check if there's any damage in the BMS? You know, the BMS is the one on the top. So these are components that we can send you as a replace, as a quick replacement. So if you have an issue with one of the BICs that get damaged, gets damaged, then we can send over uh, quickly a BIC so you can do the replacement. And same thing with the with the BMS, because normally in batteries is the electronic components the one that have a have a high, higher risk of getting damaged. So that's ones that's why we have them separately, uh, and very important. Every low voltage system needs a BMU, one BMU. Even if you have 64 batteries, you just need one BMU to be able to communicate with the inverter. Yeah. So this is what a, a single unit installation would look like. So the communication goes from the battery to the BMU, from the BMU to the inverter, and is the BMU the one that has the Ethernet port so you can connect to the internet. Uh, one thing important, as I mentioned, they are coming in the same box. So the these complete LBL unit comes in one box, but the la the modules can be quite heavy. That's why we have separated them in two. So you can handle them uh, between two, th two, three people. You will be able to handle the weight of the uh, LBL unit, the single half of the LB LBL unit. Uh, when you put in one on top of each other, you have a pass-through cable, a pass-through hole in in the bottom of the LVL, so it allows you to have neatly the cable going through the inside of the of the batteries. And when you put in uh, having multiple systems, the only thing that is uh, you need to take into consideration is you need a communication cable between them. Uh, and you need to uh, we need to remember this when you commission mentioned these are four four batteries, so the BMU can address all four batteries. And this is automatically. Uh, just so so you know, I, we have been getting uh, more questions about the switch on and switch off procedure. So the batteries power the BMU. This means that in order to switch on the system, you switch on one battery. You don't, even if you have 64 of them, you just need to switch on one battery and that will switch on the rest of the batteries and it will power the BMU. But to switch it off, especially when you have several units, you can press for five seconds the BMU and this will send the command to switch off all the units. 
and uh, same as with the high voltage a commission system a commission the system is the same same way as with the high voltages uh, inverters off switch on the battery the bmu will start to emit a wi-fi you connect to the wi-fi and you do the commissioning and you can use uh, both b connect and b connect plus <clears throat> I will show you in the support side uh, B Connect Plus, and finally the final product in the in the family is the LVS. So the LVS also 48 volt or 51 volt uh, battery, and to provide you the option to start much smaller, so for four, four kilowatt hours and upwards, up to 256 kilowatt hours. It, it has the same same design as the HV battery. It's just a, la a larger module because each module is four kilowatt hours. Uh, but it's same with the top and the bottom that are coming together. In this case, they are not called OBCU, they're called PDU, because this is just where the protections of the system are, all the electrical protections, where the fuses, uh, the circuit breaker, etc. And from there, it's connected to the BMU, uh, same as same as as you can see in the in this uh, graph, same as with the LBL from the uh, PDU to PDU will be connected so the batteries can recognize each other and they can communicate. And then from the master battery, you connect to the BMU. You can have four batteries per tower, but there's an exception. If you have just one battery, one tower, you can have up to six of them in parallel. And we've added a few. Uh, improvements with the idea of um, making installation easier and safer one of the big ones is the connectors so we have developed these these special connectors to be to be able to have them prepared in advance and i'll show you detail how they are prepared and we have this connection area so just with the with what you see in front of you, just with that, you would be able to, to do the installation. So just have a couple of power, uh, power connections and you'll have one, uh, one, connection, uh, one communication connection or just two if you're putting systems in uh, units in parallel. The first step will we start a, a, like, like for high voltage, first the grounding, then the communication. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, these are the connectors that, are, that I mentioned. So with uh, you use a hydraulic clamp, you, you, uh, you use the component that you see in the top right hand side. You need to choose is a 35 millimeter uh, square millimeter, 50 square millimeter or 70 square millimeter. So the, those are the three options uh, available. And then you choose which uh, cable, cable section you're using. And when, once you go to site, you can just clip them in so you can do the physical installation in just a few minutes. Uh, same thing for uh, well, for parallel. Remember, uh, always the same section, same length of cable going to the inverter. They can go to a bus bar first, or so just a plate, and then from there to the inverter. And when you finish communication, the last gap put a, a communication terminator, so an RJ45. That is it, this is coming in the in the units. <clears throat> Uh, the on and off uh, switching procedure is the same as the uh, LBL. So by switching on one battery, that will switch on all of the rest of the batteries and the BMU. And to switch off, so, uh, press the press the BMU for five seconds, and that will switch off all the batteries. For switching on, uh, remember the inverter should be off. And for switching off, same thing, inverter should be off. So you will switch off the inverter first and then you can switch off the, the BMUs. Okay. <clears throat> and for extension, it's not strictly required to... Uh, okay, sorry, somebody, somebody has unmuted themselves, please. Uh, Okay, uh, for ex for extensions, uh, we it's not strictly necessary to do thirty percent uh, as these batteries are in parallel. But the closer you are to thirty percent, the less time it would take for batteries to balance themselves or to put put them at the put all the modules at the same level. <clears throat> 